Hi everyone! So today we're going to talk about the steps on installing Code Igniter. Okay? Okay, so before we start our installation on the part of the Code Igniter, there are um, things that we're going to do first. Okay, so we're going to set up the local development environment first. So what are the things needed to start our local development? So we need to install in our desktop computer or laptop computer the following web server such as Apache, PHP, it is because this is the scripting language that is using by CodeIgniter, database such as MySQL, text editor for our coding part, then of course the browser to test our web application. Okay? So do we have any installer package to set up our local development server? The answer will be yes. So it is what we call the web server solution package, wherein it is already consists of Apache web server, MySQL database, and PHP, such as SAM, WAM, and also Laragon. But of course, guys, if you want to set up your own um, local server, let's say you want to um, use your virtual machine, yung mga ganon, it's up to you lang. So, on my case naman, and for this particular series, yung gagamitin natin is yung SAM. Okay? Okay, the next is, what are the sample of text editors that we are going to use? First, we have the Sublime Text. Second is the Notepad++. And the third is the PHP Storm. Okay? Actually, there are a lot of text editors that we can use. You can also use Visual Studio, Atom, or any other text editors that you prefer to use. You are not limited with these three, okay? But in my case, I'm going to use Sublime, okay? Next is, what are the sample browsers that we are going to use? Of course, we have Google Chrome, we have Mozilla Firefox, we also have Microsoft Edge. Or if you want to use your Safari or Opera, then you may. On my case, I'm going to use your Google Chrome. Okay? Okay. If you're already done setting up our local development environment, now it is time for us to set up the Code Igniter. So steps on installing Code Igniter. So first thing to do is to download the Code Igniter file. So we need to open a browser and type in the address bar codeigniter.com and it will be redirected to this particular page. Now we just need to click download and it will be redirected to this page. Okay, so there are two versions. We, we have already the Code Igniter 4 which is the latest version, but at the moment, we're going to use the Code Igniter 3. Why we're going to use the Code Igniter 3? Because it's just a simple reason, I'm not that kind of familiar yet with the Code Igniter 4. Okay? So that's the simple reason why we're just going to use Code Igniter 3. Okay, then we're going to click Download. Then it will be downloaded. So once that happens, then we're going to check the downloads directory. So in this part, we just need to unzip this file. Okay. And after that, we just need to open this one and until such time that we can see these files. Okay. So these files are the code igniter files. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is to copy these files or the parent directory. Okay, then we're going to go to our local disk C, then go to some, then go to HDocs. Now, here we're going to paste 
yung coding nether file natin na the download. Okay? Then now, since this is the um, name of the folder, we're going to rename it to the project name that we like. Okay? So on my case, I'm going to name it, since this is the first project for my CI, I'm going to name it as my first CI project. By the way, the CI is, it means coding nighter. Okay? Then once that happened, you'll already rename your the coding nighter files directory as your project name. Then the next thing that we're going to do is to go to the sum. Look for the sum control panel icon and open this one. Then now let's try to start the Apache and MySQL. So for the part of the MySQL, it is just optional at the moment. It is because um, since we are not using database at the moment. So kahit hindi mo siya may start, okay lang. Okay? Okay, next is we're going to go back to our to the browser, open up a browser. And we just need to type localhost slash my underscore first underscore ci underscore project. Or basically the project name that you have created on the uh, folder name earlier. Okay? Kung ano yung inalagay nyo, then yun ren ang ilalagay nyo dito. Since yung inalagay ko doon is itong pangalan, then ito yung ilalagay ko dito. Okay guys, so once that happen and i-press natin yung enter key, then ito yung may kita na natin. Okay, so this is the welcome page of Coding Nighter. Okay guys, and it indicates that we successfully installed Coding Nighter in our local machine. Okay? Okay. Okay, next is let's try to talk about the code igniter folder and file structures. So it is very important to understand the file structure in code igniter if you want to develop applications successfully. So ito yung mga file inside a code igniter, yung kanina. Okay, so we have yung application, system, and user guide, and other files. So let's start. Um, discussing about the application directory. This is the directory that will contain your application logic. All of your application code will be contained in this directory. Okay? So, lahat ng mga custom codes na gagawin natin, guys, then ilalagay natin sa application directory. Okay? Then, the next is the system directory. So, this folder contains the framework core files. So, it is not advised to make changes in this directory or put your own code or your own application code into this directory. Okay? So, wag nyo gagawin yung ganon. Otherwise, it might affect the entire process of the framework. Okay? The next is the user guide. This directory contains the user manual for CodeIgniter. Okay? So, this is totally useful pagdating sa development time natin, development process natin. Kasi there are time na kung saan nalilimutan natin kung paano gamitin yung isang function, then we can just check out the user manual. Okay? Then we have the index.php. This is the entry point into the application. So basically guys, lahat ng mga requests, okay, to the uh, to other to our web application always dumaraan sa index.php okay so ganun yung talaga yung process there's only one entry point ngayon if some users try to access yung mga files directly without going to the index.php file then parang i-disallow yan that's one of the security feature that was offered by this framework okay so, isa lang, isa lang talaga yung entry point niya. Okay, guys? Now, let's try to discuss about the application directory. Okay? So, ito naman yung mga folders na meron siya. So, let's start with the cache 
directory in which this stores cache files. Then config, which keeps configuration files. So, um, something yung mga configuration. Um, for example, yung database configuration. Then, dyan nakalagay. Okay. Then, we have the controller. All application controllers are defined in this directory. Okay. Then, core. Directory contains custom core classes that extend system files. For example, if you create a base controller that other controllers should extend, then you would place it in this directory. Okay? Then helpers. This directory is used for user-defined helper function. Okay? Then hooks. User, I mean used for custom hooks. Then we also have the language used to store language files for application that use more than one language. Then we have libraries used to store custom libraries or custom created libraries rather. Then logs application log files are kept in this directory like for example kung magkakaroon ng mga error, mga ganon, syntax error, fatal error, um, 404 pwede na ma-display dito sa log files. Models. All application models should be defined in this directory. Okay. Third party, this is used for custom packages that you or other developers have created. Then the last one is views. Application, uh, application views go into this directory. Okay. So basically guys, yung common thing na mga gamit, uh, ma explore natin na directory sa ngayon, in the part of the application, since ito lang naman yung pinapa-modify sa atin, kasi hindi naman pwede sa system, ay yung mga, yung, yung config directory, um, controllers directory, models directory, at saka yung views directory. So those are the four common directory ng mama manage or my explore natin sa ngayon since we are just starting our web application in coding nighter okay okay now let's try to talk to the systems directory okay let's start with the core directory this is like the heart of the framework all of the core files that makes up the framework are located in here if you would like to extend functionality of the core files, then you need to create custom core files in the application directory. After that, you can override or add a new behavior that you wish. So, you should never make changes directly in here. Okay? Database. Database directory basically. Um, database drivers, cache, and other files need for database operations are provided in here. Then we have the funds. Um, as the name suggests, this directory contains funds and information relating to funds. Then we have helpers. This directory contains helper functions that come out of the box. Then we also have the language contains language files that are used by the framework then we have libraries contains the source files for the various libraries that come with the coding editor out of the box okay okay so for the user guide so these are the files ng user guide directory so all we need to do is to double click this particular index file so it is just an HTML file. So once we double click that one or open natin sa isang browser, ito yung makikita natin. The user manual of coding nighter. So as you can see, it totally has a decent look. Okay? So let's try to explore more. So this is the entire um the user manual. If we try to click in here, this is clickable naman. Um like for example on this one, the welcome coding nighter. We can also check out the installation process, the overview, the tutorial, contributing to Coding Nighter, general topics, libraries, database, um, database reference on how to use yung mga 
insert function, update function, in which it generates a specific query that would manage the data from the database. Then also we have the helpers, okay? The general topics, do you make it or not? And there are a bunch of discussion that we can check it out here. We also have the libraries, wherein these are the modules that we can use, something like this. It has those benchmarking, caching driver, calendaring class, shopping cart, um, email class, encryption, file uploading, form validation. So there are a bunch of libraries that we can use in this particular framework. And we can check it out here in this particular user manual. Then we also have the database references. Then we have the helpers if you want to manage helpers. Okay. Okay, so I think that's it guys. So I hope you learned something new today regarding our topic, the steps on installing Code Igniter, and also learning about the U structure, folder structure, and file structure ng Code Igniter. So it is totally important for us to know where to place those needed files that we're going to make soon. Okay, so if you did learn on this particular topic today please click thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you will not miss our upcoming videos okay so just like i always say guys just keep practicing and never stop learning thank you for watching guys and goodbye for now